These adorable beefcake guinea pigs occupied the shoulders of my perch in a colony several dozen strong. When I'd first heard their shrill graveyard screams, it had shaken me to my core. Well, this wasn't that, was it? Which led me, by way of a certain line of thinking, to Bigfoot, or Sasquatch if you prefer, the strange and ghost-like forest being that local Soxhawatl and Skagit Indian legends describe, the humanoid giant that European fur trappers and railroad men, loggers and miners, claimed to have encountered during their westward ravages, the quote-unquote abominable snowman that two boys, Mark Mee, 16, and Marshall Cabe, 14, ran into just east of here at Cub Lake in 1969, the monkey or gorilla that tourists saw, in crossing hi saw crossing Highway 504 in Cowlitz County, the source of eerie howls like people yelling that elk hunters heard recently on Spencer Butte, the ogre, trickster, cave monster, mountain devil, wild man, and cannibal child slaver that nearly every indigenous American culture has a name for, the tabloid curiosity, transient and scary-ass figment of my dreams, imaginary herald, of our oldest and most hard-dying myths, or long-odds candidate for a real yet undiscovered hominid species. Whatever it was, marmot or missing link, it circled. In my barricade of fleece and down, I lay perfectly still, eyelids bolted shut, my only weapon, a plastic spork, clutched tightly to my chest. There came a surgical howl, followed by another, my own this time, a feral, childlike trombone, trombone wail, and then the crash of rock on rock. 